This is the Collisions tutorial for UDK version December 2010. My name is Jason Sloan. I'm a level designer from Cohort 15. Today is January 26, 2011, and I'm going to show you how to create collisions in UDK. So I'm going to pop into the game real quick and show you that these three static meshes here do not have any form of collision. I'm able to walk through them which is something we don't want. We're going to add a collision to the, to the static mesh. So back in the window, the first way I'm going to show you is with using the brush tool. So with the brush tool, create the shape you want for the collision. And for simplicity's sake and time, I'm going to just use a cube. When you have the shape you want, place it over the static mesh so that it corresponds to the way you want the hitbox to be. After that is done, right click on the static mesh and then we're going to go to select select collision from builder brush the f uh, that's it we've now created a collision volume for that static mesh so we go into game and show you that I cannot walk through them anymore and not only that but the collisions volume for that static mesh will go to all static meshes in game like that so I can no longer walk through this one or this one so that is one way we can do static meshes another method is to use the content browser and the static mesh editor so I'm going to open up the content browser I'm going to use the static mesh right, which is right here this guy and then if you cl click this button right here, it sh says Show Collision, and it'll show the box I've created. And so you can go to Collision, and you can also remove the collision, and it'll ask you, are you sure? And click Yes. So it, now our static mesh no longer has a collision. We can add a collision using the Mesh Editor here. And to do that, go to Collision, and it'll show you the options for collisions we have. And they come in different size polygons, from a 6-sided to a 10-sided to an 18-sided to a 26-sided. So we'll use the six side first, which is a simple rectangular prism that surrounds it. Make sure you have the toggle, uh, the show collision toggled, so you can see. If we go to the ten, uh, it does a ten sided. And just say yes, you want to replace it. And for each one, it chamfers in a certain direction. This one, you can see, it goes in the x direction. This one will go in the the y direction. And then this one will go in the z direction around our static mesh. We can also do the 18 sided, which is a little bit more complex. We can do the 26 sided. And we can also do a sphere version, which will place a sphere around the object. And then our, the last one we can do is the auto convex collision, which will make multiple small shapes that will create a convex shape because con uh, convex shapes are not e easily done with a builder brush. I'll just click apply. Takes a second. And now you can see we have a very complex collision for the static mesh. So I'll leave this one here and I'll play in game to show you. So once you have the collision type you want, just close out of all your windows and go back into the game. And our statue now has a collision. For any more information, check the Guildhall Wiki. Thank you.